Today, I will take you through a demo of the all new Discovery platform. It's a simplified and collaborative platform that leverages data science and AI for faster and deeper generation of business insights. So what's new with the Spark Beyond Discovery platform? First, we've streamlined feature discovery. You can now generate better features faster with one of the world's largest function libraries and provide clear transparency for each feature along the way with relevant and useful metrics. With the new Spark Beyond Discovery platform, you also enjoy hassle-free no-code data joins. You can build your search space across text, geospatial, and transaction level time series data with no code in a simple drag and drop UI. Finally, thanks to explainable insights, you can start new projects fast, iterate, and quickly test ideas in collaboration with business stakeholders, all in explainable and natural language. For today's demo, we'll be trying to predict the price of an Airbnb listing in New York City. The data that we'll be using is heavy unstructured text based on the owner's description and also the location information coming from the zip code and the latitude and longitude. Finally, we'll integrate some external data, joining in a knowledge graph, the US Census, and OpenStreetMaps. First, we'll give the project a title. Next, we'll select the project objective. Do you want to just discover insights, build a model with explainable features, or build a high performance model? Next, we'll upload our primary data set. There's a variety of different connectors that the platform supports, but for this demo, I'll upload it directly from my computer. The platform will then analyze the data and provide high level summary statistics. Here you can see the data we're working with is heavy unstructured text along with the zip code and the latitude and longitude. Next, the platform will ask, what is the target column? This is the column that we're looking to predict. For us, this is price. Now that the initial search space is set up, we can click the run button to generate our initial insights and models. During this process, the platform will join additional data sets, apply relevant transformations from the function library to the specific data types. Then using information theory, select the features that are most predictive based on a proprietary scoring metric. And finally, build models. After our run is complete, we click on our features tab. Here, we can explore in detail all of the features that were generated. On the right, there is a visual of all of the individual features. The X axis shows the support of those features and the Y shows the target mean shift. By clicking on a feature, you can drill down to access more information. In the feature overview, you will see a humanized version of the feature along with the effect of the target transparent feature metrics, along with the feature distribution. If you scroll down, the platform provides full transparency for what is going on under the hood. You can see the feature definition, how the feature is composed, and see step-by-step -step transformations in the samples. For this particular transformation, numeric pairs, the platform is taking each individual record and looking for instances where there is a number followed by a word. So for here, three in bedroom, 15 in minutes. It is then forming a key and a value pair for each of those instances, conditioning on each possible key and thresholding on each possible value to automatically identify if the key is bedroom and the value is effectively above one and a half the average price increases. If we click back, we can go explore other features. In this view, you also have the ability to quickly explore features like this one. What we find is that if the name contains cozy, the price of a listing actually goes down. Now this actually makes sense because if you remember, the listings here are coming from New York City. 
Cozy is typically used as a placeholder for a very, very small apartment. After exploring our initial set of features, we can click back on the data pane to begin to explore additional data sets that we might believe are relevant. This can be done easily by clicking Add Related Dataset. Now I can easily connect additional datasets to expand my search space. First, I'm going to connect the US Census. The platform will ask me how I would like to join this data. Here, I'm going to join it based on the zip code. Now I have the option to rerun the learning process or continue to add more data. Finally, I'll add two more external data sets to help enrich the feature space. These data sets come natively built into Spark Beyond and are easy to join as a click of a button. OpenStreetMap will leverage the latitude and longitude fields in the primary data set and the Spark Beyond Knowledge Graph will be used to generate more semantic features on the text fields. Before hitting Run, I can quickly go and look at how the data is connected. Here I see I have the US Census connected via the lookup, the OpenStreetMap is connected, and the Knowledge Graph. Let's hit Run. After the run is complete, we again can click the Features tab and explore features in more detail. The color of each feature corresponds to the data set that it originated from. Let's look at a feature coming from the Spark Beyond Knowledge Graph. Here we find if we have words in our summary that relate to the concept of architectural elements, it actually corresponds to a higher Airbnb price. Words like fireplaces, patios, pillars, courtyards, spiral staircase, all relate to architectural elements in the Spark Beyond Knowledge Graph. Next, let's explore an OpenStreetMap feature. Here, the platform is identifying if there are greater than 20 instances of a subway entrance in a one kilometer circle, it corresponds to a higher Airbnb price. For geospatial features, we also have the ability to explore where this feature is true by clicking on Geolocation Map. Here in green, we see where the feature is true, and in red where the feature is false. After we've explored our features, we can click on the Models pane to automatically generate machine learning models. The platform supports a no-code AutoML interface. This allows you to explore different algorithms, automatically search hyperparameters, and control the evaluation method. Once all models are trained, the winning model is selected and metrics are presented in this view. Additional reports and model parameters can still be accessed from this pane. Thanks for joining today's demo to see the all new Discovery Platform in action. Hopefully, today's demo highlighted the platform's capabilities to analyze complex data sources, find answers to business problems where you wouldn't think to look, and go from data to business impact in days, not months, without having to write a single line of code. For more information, head over to our website, sparkbeyond.com, and request a personalized demo. We look forward to hearing from you.